The legal fireworks have already begun at the Supreme Court after Tinubu countered Atiku's arguments that he has discrepancies in his credentials, meaning that he forged the certificates like Tinubu did or that they don't belong to him because of the difference in names. Although Atiku responded that he has a sworn affidavit that proves the certificates are his, he still went ahead to release a press statement to properly address the issues that Tinubu raised so as to protect his reputation. And reading through the statement, they went straight to the issues, so no need to summarize them. Let's just read it verbatim. These are the words of Atiku Abubakar. Quote, Press release, Bola Tinubu and Atiku Abubakar. The world has come to the inevitable conclusion that Bola A. Tinubu is a confirmed forger-in-chief on account of his serial forgeries and lies in the last 50 years. Bola A. Tinubu has forged and lied about every aspect of his life, his heritage, his name and date of birth, his education and certificates, and his work experience. The discovery of Tinubu's records at the Chicago State University and the court order deposition in the United States is only the tip of the iceberg that has been the litany of his forgeries and lies. The attempt by Bola A. Tinubu to drag Atiku Abubakar into drowning arena of forgery must be seen for what it is, an attempt to minimize the allegations of forgeries that he has to contend with. Contrary to Bola A. Tinubu's forgery shopping allegations against Atiku, it is on record that the change of name of the former vice president reverting to Atiku Abubakar from Siddiq Abubakar is well documented in an affidavit dated 18th of August 1973, spanning over a period of 50 years, which incidentally is as old as the commencement of Tinubu's life of forgeries and lies in the public domain. Now, let's put Bola A. Tinubu's life of forgeries and lies in proper perspective. In 1999, Tinubu lied under oath in his form CF001, which is submitted to the Independent National Electoral Commission, INEC, that he attended St. Paul's Primary School, Aruloya, Lagos, Government College, Ibado, Chicago University, and Chicago State University. It has been established that he only attended CSU and that he secured admission into the university by impersonation. Through the discoveries of his records in the Chicago State University, we now know that Bola A. Tinubu forged a secondary school certificate from Government College, Lagos, a GCE certificate from Cambridge University, and a transcript from Richard Daly College, which belongs to a female owner. We also know, thanks to the discoveries, that the CSU few days before graduation in 1979 notified him of outstanding or carryover as it is known in Nigeria, pre-qualifying examination in English, mathematics, and comprehension, which never appeared on his transcript to have been retaken. After his odyssey in falsifying educational qualifications, Bola A. Tinubu claimed in his 1999 affidavit to contest for the position of governor of Lagos State that he had a working experience with Arthur Anderson Accounting, Deloitte, and Mobe Nigeria. It ends up that both claims on Arthur Anderson and Deloitte, both in the United States, are false because his footprints are nowhere to be found in those corporations. Like CSU, Deloitte denied ever knowing or having any Bola A. Tinubu in their employment. And he has since stopped adding that to his official or public records since his exposure. Curiously, handlers of this same Bola A. Tinubu have smuggled Adekunle, a middle name that magically popped up in his so-called National Youth Service Corps certificate into his Wikipedia on the 6th of October 2023. This may yet be another indication of a master forger at work. Yet, this same Bola A. Tinubu and his handlers want to confuse the public by making insinuations about what Atiku Abubakar is not. For the purpose of clarification, all the names that Atiku Abubakar bears are names that are traceable to his family tree. He adopted Atiku Abubakar as his official name while in the employ of Nigeria Customs Service. Atiku's life is an open book and not a mystery or closed book 
that continues to define the life of Bola A. Tinubu. Conversely, Bola A. Tinubu is a name that has no history nor social acquaintance until the late 1970s. We therefore urge Bola A. Tinubu and his handlers to desist from making any further attempt at comparing the campaign forger known as Bola A. Tinubu with an impeccable name that Atiku Abubaka has built over the years. Signed, Paul Ibe, media advisor to Atiku Abubaka. End of quote.